What's up, Odooers, and welcome back for another tutorial. Like most apps in Odoo, the sales and manufacturing apps are integrated with one another. This allows for a bunch of cool workflows, including the use of the manufacturing app to fill a product needed created by the inventory app. Here's how it works. When a sales order or SO is confirmed for a product that's not currently available, a manufacturing order or MO is created to manufacture the product and fulfill that need. There are two workflows we can use to make that happen. The first uses the replenish on order route, also known as MTO, while the second uses a specific type of reordering rule. So let's jump into our Odoo database and see how this all works. All right, we're gonna start with the MTO route workflow. This route is archived by default, so we need to unarchive it first. To do so, I'm gonna hop into the inventory application, click on configuration, and then head down to routes. And from here, I'll go ahead and use the drop down in the search bar here and click the archived in the filter section. Now, I just need to tick the checkbox next to the replenish on order MTO option, click on the actions button here, and then click on unarchived. And then boom, the MTO route is ready for use. Now, let's see the product we'll be selling and manufacturing. To do that, I'll click on products and then products once again and simply click on our dresser product. On the products form, I need to make sure the can be sold option here is ticked and enabled so it can be added to SOs. I also need to click on the inventory tab here and make sure both the manufacturer and the MTO options are enabled. The MTO route tells Odoo that we want to replenish the product when there's a need for it. And when we enable the manufacturer route as well, Odoo knows that we want to replenish this product by manufacturing it. The only other thing we need to worry about is the product's bill of materials or BOM. This contains all the information needed to manufacture the product. Now I've already created one, but to do so yourself, all you have to do is click on the bill of material smart button and then simply click on new. Feel free to also check out our tutorial on bill of material basics for a full overview of BOM creation. All right, we're ready to create a sales order for our dresser and use the MTO route to manufacture it. So now all we have to do is head over to our sales application click new to create a new quotation and we'll go ahead and use our good friend here Terry Green in the customer field and then down below on the order product lines all we have to do is add our dresser and then to turn this into an SO I'll just go ahead and click confirm. Once I do an MO is automatically created to manufacture the product which I can access by simply clicking on the manufacturing smart button. This is one of the most useful features in the MTO route because the MO is linked to the SO that created it. It also means that the product is reserved for that specific SO and can't be used for any other. Now let's go ahead and click on produce to manufacture this one unit of this dresser. And next I'll go ahead and head back to the SO by clicking on the sale smart button here at the top. Then to deliver the product we can click on the delivery smart button here. And to go ahead and finish this delivery all we have to do is click validate. And just like that, we've sold one unit of our dresser, manufactured it, and sent it to Mr. Green. Now, before we move on, I should mention that the MTO route always creates an MO for a product when it is included in an SO. This is the case even when there's enough stock on hand to fulfill the SO. Now, let's set everything up the same, but this time we're going to use the reordering rule instead of the MTO route. So to do so, I'll head back to the dresser by selecting products, products once again, selecting our dresser. And then I'm going to click on the inventory tab again, but untick the MTO option since we won't be using it, of course. Then I'll go ahead and click on the reordering rules smart button here and then click new. In the route field here, we're going to use manufacturer. And since we won't be replenishing this product, I'll go ahead and leave both the minimum set to zero and maximum set to zero. And then for the far right on the two order, I'll go ahead and put one in that column. So how does this work? Well, we have zero units of the dresser on hand. Creating an SO for it makes the on hand quantity negative. Since this is below the minimum quantity of zero and manufacturing orders created to replenish the product back to the maximum quantity of zero. The product is replenished in increments of one since that's what we entered in the two order column. This is called a 001 reordering rule and it's just one of the ways reordering rules can be used. For a full overview, make sure to check out our reordering rules tutorial. All right, let's complete another sales order with this reordering rule workflow. So to do so, I'll create another quotation and select new in quotations. And then we'll add Terry Green once again to the customer field. Let's go ahead and add our dresser once more to the order lines. Then I'll click confirm to confirm this into an SO. And once I do, you'll notice no manufacturing smart button appears at the top of this page. Don't worry though, an MO was generated automatically, but in this case, it's not linked to the SO. 
This also means that the product was created by the MO will not be reserved for this SO and can be used for any other orders if necessary. So to open the MO, I'll head back to the manufacturing application, select operations, and then down to manufacturing orders, and then simply create, click on the most recent order. And then here, I'll go ahead and click produce all to manufacture the dresser. And now all I have to do is return to the sales application and click on our SO. And then if I click on the delivery smart button to open up the delivery order, once the dresser has been shipped, I just need to click validate and then we're all done. And that's it for today, folks. You now know the two different methods used for sales orders to automatically generate manufacturing orders. Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you next time.